Everyone. welcome back to my channel and today's video so I'm sharing with you some gift hampers that you can make yourself different baskets and just different gift ideas which can kind of be cheap but you can kind of spend however much you like really and I think these are really really good for someone you might not know very well and you can just do something a bit you know kind of like general and non-specific maybe if you're going to somebody's house over Christmas and you're not sure what to bring them and you don't just want to buy bring them like the usual bottle of wine or like box of biscuits with chocolate. Equally, if you do know someone very well, then you can just like pick something that they're interested in and like build a gift basket around it. And I think it's just a really, really lovely idea. And yeah, just a bit more thoughtful really. But anyway, I really hope that you enjoy seeing the ones that I've put together for you. I had a lot of fun filming it. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoy it. And yes, let's go. The first basket that I'm going to show you is a cosy hamper. So I just got a basket, I think this was from Amazon, and I'm putting in a nice blanket in there. You can get these really cheap from Ikea, I think they're only £3. I've also got a bottle of mulled apple juice there. You could obviously put mulled wine or something alcoholic in there as well if you like. Some nice cosy socks because it wouldn't be a cosy basket without some nice warm fluffy socks. I'm also just putting in a couple of hot chocolate sachets in a Christmas mug and obviously this is kind of a Christmas festive theme one but you don't have to make it a Christmassy one anyway. I have also have a little candle there because that is always what I think of when I think about being cosy, a nice warm candle and also a little bag of treats. You could put as much in as you like really. And just to make it a little bit prettier, I'm putting it a little ribbon around the blanket. Now I did have a hot water bottle to put in, which I think would be lovely, but I couldn't find it when I was filming it, which was really annoying. But yes, I would have put a hot water bottle in there as well. But you could put lots more in, lots more treats or anything else cosy, maybe some slippers, you could put a dressing gown, anything different really. But I'm just thinking about things that you kind of associate with being warm and cosy, especially at this time of year. So as you saw, I just put in a couple of candy canes just to make it look a bit prettier and a bit more festive. But that is my cosy hamper and I think this would make a really, really lovely present for someone and it just looks really thoughtful. This would also be great for someone you don't know that well because I think it's quite like a generic basket. The next one that I want to share with you is a pamper hamper. So you kind of could combine this one and the last one actually and kind of do it similarly, but this one is kind of more about being pampered and pampering yourself, which I think is different from the cozy one, but equally you could kind of combine two different ideas into one. But anyway, I started off with a basket. I think I found this on eBay for quite cheap. I do see these kind of things covered in charity shops too. I've got a little hand towel in there and also a lovely bamboo face cloth, which I got from Tropic. And I think that's just really nice. It's just something a little bit different in there. I also have put in a tube of body wash. And then also again, just some fluffy socks because I think pampering, you do kind of associate with being cosy as well pampered and being comfortable and then also a candle which I got from home bargains they're so so cheap so yeah those bits aren't too expensive but you could put loads in this or you could kind of pair it right down that is a body pebble with a little pouch as well which is kind of like a concentrated body wash and I also popped in a face mask so this is kind of being more of a more expensive gift basket I've also put a little heart in there just a little decoration just to kind of pretty it up a little bit and a little compact mirror too. Again, you can get that from Home Bargains for very cheap. Also just a couple of nail files, which obviously they're super, super cheap. And yeah, you could put this as cheap or as expensive as you like. And again, it could be Christmas themed or not Christmas themed. Mine isn't really, but I did just put some candy canes in there and also the ribbon around just to make it look a bit prettier, but it's kind of not that Christmassy, if that makes sense. But yeah, I think that is just a really, really lovely basket. As I said, I've put like a fair amount in there. You could put even more in it or you could put a lot less. I've actually done Secret Santa with this kind of idea twice for like five, six pounds. So honestly, you can make this really, really cheap, but I think it just makes a lovely, lovely gift idea for somebody.
Next is a hamper for tea lovers. So I started with this tray that I bought in Home Bargains last year, just like a little wooden tray. And this is going to be a Christmas themed one, but of course, again, it doesn't have to be. So I've just got a coaster and a lovely mug there. You could obviously put like a little cup and saucer. I've just got a jar of biscuits and a jar of tea bags. And ideally I, I kind of have a few more biscuits in there. And I've just decorated it with those little rosettes because I did want to spray the lids. Um, so that's probably something that I would add to it. But I just wanted to put these little rosettes on it just to make it a little bit better. I also love that little tea bag caddy there that I found in Asda for four pounds and then just a couple of napkins. So this was kind of a quite a basic one. As I said, I can think ideally, I also put in that little like tea bag strainer there. But yeah, ideally you would have like more biscuits and make more of it. But this could be really, really cheap. Like just like that, it's so, so cheap, just like a few pounds. But I think it just looks nice. And again, if you know somebody likes tea or you, you could do this for coffee or something, then, you know, I think it's just really simple and easy to put together and really inexpensive as well. So next I have called this Hinch Hamper, but obviously it's for anyone that likes cleaning really. And I've just used one little tray which I got from a pack of three from Home Bargains. I think that they still sell these. And I just kind of wanted to mock this up, so I wasn't actually doing this for myself. I just wanted to kind of show you that you can do other ideas, because a lot of my other ones are kind of more food related. But yeah, and ideally I think you probably would have like a deeper basket, but... Anyway, this is kind of just to give you a very, very rough idea. This was extremely cheap and quick. You could put loads more in here, like Zoflora, um, or I don't know, like washing up gloves, like a little dustpan or something. I mean, some people might be offended if you bought them this, but some people just genuinely love cleaning, don't they? <laughs> um, I love these little sponges that I find. I think we got those on Amazon. They're like loofers, so they're really cool. I just got like a little um, pad that I got from Poundland, I think, and at different microfiber cloths. I also find a little pink hand sanitizer which I thought was really sweet just to tie in there I also got a notebook and a pretty pen for like those to-do lists that we all like to do so yeah I think that looks really cute as I said you could probably do it a bit better than this and ideally that would be a pink not a blue bottle or you know just all colour themed but yeah I thought that was really sweet and I thought it'd be quite a cool little gift for someone So this has to be one of my favourite hampers that I have done. This is a hot chocolate hamper. The basket is from Pineland. And yeah, I just, I love hot chocolate, but I just really like how I did it. Um, and I did make it quite Christmassy as well. So as you can see, I was considering using a glass mug, which you can get really cheap as well, but I didn't have any like chocolates that match the colour theme. So I didn't think it went. So I am instead using this Kath Kidston mug that I found. And I've just got a jar there of hot chocolate, which I've just decanted. So if you're making like more than one, that's a really cheap way of doing it. And I think it looks really pretty with that ribbon around the middle. Got some serviettes just to give it a little bit of height, really, because I think hampers do need a bit of height if you can. I got those Lint Father Christmas chocolates from Asda. I think they were £2 for a set. Equally, you could like divide them up as well to make it even cheaper. They are some cinnamon sticks, which I am just popping in there. And then also a little whisk, which you can easily find on eBay or Amazon for really cheap. I think that was a pack of two as well. So I am just filling that mug up with some tree chocolates and I have got a little scoop as well. So you could tie that onto the front of the jar in the ribbon. That would look quite cool. That would look quite cute. Um, but I'm just putting mine in there. I'm also adding some more chocolate because yes, it's a hot chocolate hamper, but you know, if someone likes hot chocolate, they probably like chocolate as well. And you kind of want to make it look good, don't you? So yeah, I was just putting like all different types of chocolate in there. My trusty candy canes just to make it look even more Christmassy. And yeah, I think that looks really, really good. So it does take a bit of filling around sometimes just to kind of see what works best. So yeah, there's the other mug. I don't know what I showed you again. But yeah, it does take a little bit of time really to kind of get happy with it. And all of these you could just like leave as they are or you could like wrap them up with some clear cellophane or something. And putting a bow on the front just kind of like ties the whole thing together. But yeah, I'm really happy with that one. And again, that is actually really, really cheap. The mug was the most expensive thing, but you can get super cheap Christmas mugs. So yes, I really love the hot chocolate one. Another one of my favourites, this is the very last hamper that I'm going to show you, is a breakfast hamper. So again, I just used one of those little baskets from Home Bargains. 
and I'm adding a jar of oats there. You could obviously put in different cereals too. And this isn't a Christmas themed one, but you could make it Christmassy if you like. I've just got a mug there and also a plate. So I'm kind of to make this color themed. Ideally with these hampers, kind of putting things in with like a similar color palette really does kind of bring it all together. So I've just got a couple of like ready-made pastries there and an egg cup and then also some tiny jars of jam which you can easily buy in home bargains and places like that for really really cheap. So this is a really good cost-effective basket. I've just got a little vintage knife. You can find these in charity shops as well I find and also a couple of sachets of tea bags. You could obviously put like more in there if you like or a little like pot of tea bags. Again, just some serviettes. I just felt like it needed a bit more colour, so I just got these pink ones. I think I found these in Asda, and I think that just makes it look a bit better and a bit prettier and kind of makes the whole thing just look more attractive, really, and suitable for a gift. But I think that'd be lovely, and these would be brilliant just to, like, take to a host's house. They could, like, treat themselves, and i just put some little straws in there. If, like, to, you could put in a little bottle of juice or something like that. But, yeah, I think that looks really nice. I was really happy with it when I put it all together. I just think that it's really pretty, and these gift hampers are honestly really, really nice presents, and I would love to receive this one. So those are all of my gift basket or gift hamper ideas for Christmas. Of course, this doesn't have to be for Christmas. If you've got any other presents, you know, any occasions that you need to buy presents for in the future, then hopefully these did give you some sort of inspiration. I really do hope that you enjoyed seeing them. It was so much fun to put together. Do let me know if you've tried making gift baskets before or if you are making them this Christmas and who you are buying them for and yeah if you feel like trying any of mine out please do let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear it if you've got any other ideas as well because I kind of think like once you start there are so so many ideas I had loads of different ideas you could also put these things in big jars as well and make it like a spa in a jar yeah there's lots of ideas plenty to choose from and they could be really really good presents cheap or expensive as well so yes I really love doing it Thank you so so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i really hope to see you next time thanks everyone bye